Now we have some equations of circles. So the equations of circles kind of um, are confusing to students. It's all based off the Pythagorean theorem as are many things that we learn in geometry. But the equations of circles, um, it, we're just plugging different parts in. So up here at the top, I'm just gonna write our standard equation of circles. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So all we're going to be doing is plugging the center of our circle and our radius into this equation. So number one, write an equation for a circle with the center at the origin and, the, and a radius of eight. So if our center is at the origin, then that means that h and k are both zero. So we can just get rid of them because anything minus zero is just itself. So we're going to be left with x squared plus y squared, and that equals my radius squared. So this is the thing that trips most um, students up, is they forget to square the radius or they forget to square root the radius. So radius squared, it would be eight squared, which is 64. So there is our equation right there. B, it's a little more complicated because we have a center. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug these numbers in. So we have x minus h, which is the x of my coordinate. So in this instance, it would be three. So x minus three squared plus y minus my y part, which is negative five. And if you remember, when we subtract a negative, it becomes a positive. So it's going to be y plus five squared, and that's going to equal my radius squared, which would be six squared, which gives me 36. So now here they don't give me any of the information. I have to come up with that information from the coordinate plane. So I can find my center. My center, it looks like it's going to be negative five, zero. So I'm just gonna jot that down here. And then I want to find my radius. So I'm just going to pick a point. Or I'm going to pick the center and I'm going to count up till I hit the circle. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So my radius is going to be five. So the equation would just be x minus negative five. So x plus five squared plus, I'm just going to have a y squared because my zero just makes that k go away. And then my radius is five, so five squared is 25. On my next one, I'm going to do the same. Here, it looks like my center is at zero, negative two, and then I need to find my radius. So my radius is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I just plug everything in. X squared plus Y plus two squared equals 36. And that's how we do equations of circles.